These were the images along Georgia Road on Monday night as residents protested the killing of one of their own. 60-year-old Vaite, as he was popularly known, was shot dead after he was found loitering in Mabatani area past curfew hours on Monday. The man, who worked as a porter at Marigiti Market, had no fixed abode and was known to spend his nights on the streets. <laughs> Irate crowds defied the curfew to express their anger at the shooting and for hours, Juja Road was a no-go zone. Hours later, the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, released its latest report on the victims of police brutality as the men in uniform enforced the heightened security to combat the spread of COVID-19. Investigations have revealed that 15 deaths have directly been linked to actions of police officers during their curfew enforcement, where as in 31 other incidents, victims have sustained serious injuries. <laughs> Further investigations have been launched on six other fatalities, two within Katanin village and yesterday's case in Madare. Another case under probe involves the fatal shooting of three members of one family in Kuala on May 30th. Meanwhile, a woman who was shot at a police roadblock in Emali is still in hospital. Cases of police brutality continue to make headlines even beyond our borders, with violent protests continuing in various United States cities following the killing of an African-American man while in police custody. Ben Kerera K24, Evening Edition.